in this video I'm going to show you how to test the actual speed of your Fire TV Stick 4K. What's up YouTube? In today's video I'm going to cover how to test your Fire TV Stick 4K's actual streaming speeds which can help you get an idea of how your network and devices perform in real time versus what your internet service provider promised you. Keep in mind it is very rare to get the entire download and upload speeds that you pay for through Wi-Fi. You usually only get 70 to 80 percent of the total bandwidth that you pay for. You will always have more reliable speeds when you hardwire your Fire TV Stick connection. Hardwired connections will give your Fire TV Stick the ability to perform at the highest level. If you want to hardwire your Fire TV Stick, I will leave a link in the description below so you can purchase the Amazon Ethernet adapter which will allow you to run an Ethernet cable directly to it that way it can perform at the maximum level. Now there are some other Wi-Fi tips and tricks you will want to consider like the location of where your router is set up. This image here illustrates this reality clearly. If you can, it's always best to place your router in the middle of your place and at least three feet off the floor. So let's get started and start running some tests. Let's begin by downloading the speed testing app. I believe it's pronounced Analyti. So let's uh, go ahead and scroll over to the, uh, apps, the Amazon app section here in the top left hand corner. Go ahead and select the magnifying glass there. And then let's go ahead and spell it. I believe it's A-N-A-L-I-T-I. Go ahead and select get. All right, let's go ahead and open it. Okay, and as soon as you open it, you can see it, it go ahead, it starts testing it right away. You don't even have to select quick test or anything. And keep in mind, I'm going to run a few different tests and we'll get an average and then we'll we'll see what the number is of the average of the three tests that we run. But I'm also going to do a hardwire test where I'm going to um, plug in a uh, Ethernet cord directly to it. And there it is right there. 91 down, 12 up. This is through Wi-Fi. We have 100 here. OK, let's go ahead and do the second test through Wi-Fi on 5G. And one thing I like about this test is that it lists the different resolutions right there and lets us know if the speed that we're getting is going to be capable of giving us a good quality uh, playback. And there it is, just about the same, give or take. Okay. And we'll go ahead and run the third test. Keep in mind, I'm running this device is directly next to uh, my router here in the living room. Okay, test three is almost, I mean, it's identical to test two. So now I'm gonna go ahead and hardwire the connection and then we'll run the test in and we'll come back as soon as I get it hardwired. Okay, we're back. I got the Amazon ethernet adapter plugged in with the ethernet cord running directly to it now. So now we're hardwired. But before we run the test, let's go ahead and make sure in the settings that it's showing that we are, that we are connected to in hardwire connection to our network. Scroll over to settings into network. And there it says wired, if you see it there, wired connected. Okay, press the Amazon home screen. 
I mean, uh, press the Amazon, press the home button here and it'll take us back to the uh, Amazon home screen, no matter where you're at. So let's go ahead and select the app here. Okay, let's see what our results are now. Okay, and these results are about what we expected. Um, we recently had a bump up from 60 megabits to 100 megabits, and we've been running tests since our bump, and we have not been able to get a test result to test uh, at 100 or above. So this is about what we've been the whole time, but I am surprised that the 5G is actually performing that good, but that doesn't mean it's gonna be as reliable as a connection, since the, this connection is directly connected hardwired. And there you have it, folks. This is how you run a test on your device and make sure that your network and your device is at least within a certain uh, speed that we need to get certain resolutions like, you know, 720, 1080p, 4K, and, and, and even 8K when that, those services become available. Feel free to share your results in the comment section below. And that does it for this video, guys. If you want an amazing IPTV service for live TV and sports, make sure to check out our Nitro TV demo. The link will be in the description below. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel because we will continue to provide tips and tricks that will keep you up to, up to date what's going on in the industry and how to keep your device running for the long haul. We will be back with another video here in a few days. Reach out to me if you need help with anything else. Talk to you soon. Take care.